Well, fresh definitely is best. We're here at Cafe Del Rey with a local chef. Chef Robert, it's a pleasure to have you today. What do you think we can make with these ingredients? Uh, I'd like to make a tuna niçoise today for you. A tuna? Niçoise salad. Niçoise, it sounds very exotic, but is it simple to make? It is, it's very simple. It sounds kind of fancy, but it's, it's very simple and straightforward. The first thing we prep is we're gonna cut up our tuna. Yeah, this really looks beautiful, Chef. So when people are selecting a piece of fish, what are they looking for? We are looking for color. We're looking for firmness in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for no smell. It's a smell clean like the ocean. We're gonna cut it into strips. This dish calls for the fish to be raw, correct? That's correct. Um, you can also do this fish uh, cooked uh, for the salad as well. You can use canned tuna if you like that, if that's more kind of easy on the go. So now that we have our strips, we're gonna cut little squares. All right, well this fish from the farmer's market just looks beautiful. Our next step is gonna be cut our green beans, just so they're bite-sized if we're eating them with a fork. What did you call the green beans again? These are actually called hair cover, also hair known as green cover. beans. Hair cover, I like that. <laughs> hair cover green beans. All right, next we're gonna take our potatoes that we've uh, cooked off. And how we cook these is just boil them in salted water until they're soft. And from here, we're just gonna cut them in quarters. Again, we wanna cut stuff so it's uh, fork friendly. I like that, fork friendly. We're gonna move on to our cherry heirloom tomatoes. Uh, and these, again, we're just gonna cut in half. Next, we're gonna be moving on to our julienne bell peppers. Now, julienne is a, a thin cut, kinda long and skinny like that. We're just gonna throw them on top there. Now we're gonna be moving on to our olive tapenade. And we're gonna mix it with our veg that we uh, cut and put together here. Beautiful, and I just love the colors. You eat with your eyes first, as they say, so the better it looks as it goes to the table, the more excited people will be to eat it. Yeah. We're gonna go back to our tuna. Now, you haven't done anything to this, Chef. That's right, it's completely raw. Um, again, if you don't like raw tuna, you're more than welcome to squeeze some lemon juice, cook it a little bit. You can also use canned tuna, that'd be great. I love lemon, so I'm gonna squeeze mine with a little bit of lemon. Mine, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in there some chives, a little soft onion taste. That's kind of what we get out of there. I like the look of this. I mean, I could just eat that. That that's, looks so that's good. That's right, yeah. Grab a pinch of salt. Grab some salt. All righty, there you go, chef. So mixing it all together, very simple. I feel like this is such a, a healthy dish, but very simple to do. That's right, it's definitely deceiving. Uh, after we put it on the plate, it, it uh, looks more fancy than it really is. Are we gonna plate it? That's right, that's, that's our next step. I love plating food, okay. Absolutely wonderful. And, and the thing that I love about this dish is that everything on this plate is locally grown, locally bought, and it looks beautiful. I feel there like a, a master chef. Right. Mmm. You can really taste how fresh that is. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. And if you'd like to know more about dishes like this, go to athomewithddr.com and be sure to visit Chef Aber here at Cafe Del Rey. Hope to see you soon. Delicious. Perfect, right?